Hey guys, now we're going to learn about volume. What is volume? Volume is a space inside a shape. So basically speaking, the volume inside your bedroom is a space inside that room. Everything inside that room or how much you can fill in that room basically is the volume of that room. Or you may have a tissue box. Now your tissue box, the volume of a tissue box is how many tissues we can have and we can place in that tissue box. So basically the volume is very important for things that we make or we construct to know how much we can fit inside them. Let's see how volume works. The volume of a rectangular prism, we'll start with that one first. The rectangular prism, it has length, it has breadth, and it has height. So all of a sudden, it is three-dimensional. The length, the breadth, and the height, three dimensions, make up the volume. So the formula for the rectangular prism is V for volume equals length times breadth times height. It's that easy. Length times breadth times height. So the volume of any bedroom or any room, we can work it out by multiplying the length of that room times the breadth of that room times the height of that room. You'll find the space that can fit in that room. Here we have a rectangular prism and we would like to find the volume inside that prism or the volume that this prism occupies in terms of space. Okay, well the formula. Remember we have to memorize our formulas. V equals L times B times H. V equals length times breadth times height. So let's identify what's what. Here is our length, it's the longest side. Here's our breadth and here is our height. So 7, 5 and 4, length, breadth, height. Let's put it into our formula. 7 times 5 times 4 7 times 5 is 35, 35 times 4, 140. Now what are we going to write? It is in centimetres, so we have to write centimetres cubed or cubic centimetres. In area, we were using square units. Now, because we are working with volume, three-dimensional, 3D, we are using cubic units. So in this case, in centimetres, cubic centimeters. If it was in meters, cubic meters. So here, this rectangular prism, V equals length times breadth times height. Well, 7 is our length, 5 is our breadth, and 4 is our height. 7 times 5 times 4 is 140 cubic centimeters. There are 140 cubic centimeters we can fit inside this rectangular prism. This is the basic volume of a rectangular prism. We are also later on going to go through and I'm going to teach you the volume of different prisms and also different pyramids as well. But for now, this is the volume of a rectangular prism.